It's the next kick in, though, isn't it, where they need to make it count. Blakey squares it up. Montlop bangs it inside. The target will be McCartney, but at the back was Barnes, and the Bombers are away. And away through the middle, Solomon and Barnard, the two targets. Barnard comes up. Gee, it's an open forward line. Solomon can run. He's got Hurd and Lloyd ahead of him, each with one man on them, each with a tough job. Solomon went for Hurd. Actually, went for Lloyd. That's he went over the kick. head of Hurd, and Lloyd ran into the space. It was an excellent kick. Are successful with all the numbers back, and all of a sudden, transforming the ball from defence into attack. And what an open forward line it was. And Lloyd... With those cricket pads on his thighs, doesn't stop him from sending it through for a goal. Goes for Digby Morrell, but he had two to beat, and Solomon, so strong and courageous in those circumstances. Dances out of the pack, Hamble didn't hit Carousel under the heat, it sits for him now, oh. Oh. <laughs> and a chance again for the Kangas. Carousel goes again, Johnson weaves a handle out to McCurry, who pumps it inside, kick. beautiful kick, a cooling kick in the end. I thought I saw Mick McGon on the wing then. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it, didn't it? 55 out of Heffern and loads it up. Goal square. Big chance. Goal. Oh, the Bombers answer in the best possible way. And if that doesn't prove to you that today's an unusual day, then nothing does. Here they go again, the Kangas. Make peace on the end of a grand handball. On his wrong side, it goes with the right foot towards Rocker again. Fletcher. That's his first contest he's won. And the jeers from the Bomber supporters, or maybe they're the Kangaroo supporters, let him know that he's having a bleak day to date. Here's Jason Johnson, their most prolific midfielder. Bangs it a full forward to Lloyd in the box seats. Great kick. Well, Johnson's had eight possessions. He's been their only midfielder who's held his own with his opponent. So a pretty important kick this for Lloyd. That's an understatement. They trail by 64 points, three minutes into the second term. And we cringe every time we say that because we just can't believe it either. Lloyd's kick on goal is a goal. A much needed one for the Bombers. Against the reigning premiers and the undisputed kings of AFL football. Here's Moorcroft from 60, just bangs it in. Lloyd's going to have to fly out of the back. He was airborne, couldn't take it. He's King, trying to get the handball away. Carousel are clever. Johnson should kick a goal. Johnson has kicked a goal. I thought Matthew Lloyd was going to challenge Gary Moorcroft for a minute then. He got up high, didn't he? In favour of the Kangaroos. Well, they're first to the football, that's all that is. Good pass from Barnes. And Jacobs pushing forward on T. Loops it over the top for Hurd. And, oh, Crutch, that'll be 50. No, play on. it wasn't 50. Hurd played on. And then, in oh, slow motion, brilliant. he kicked the goal brilliant. in very interesting fashion. And making a grand statement about their season this year. Rocker again couldn't take it. And... Well, just suddenly the Bombers have got a yep. tiny bit of momentum all of a sudden. This they is have, yep. where the Kangaroos just got to hold their nerve. Bolton towards half-forward. Hurd again, who's getting into the play. Carousel on the end of it. Goes for Lloyd. Goes for Lloyd and gets Lloyd. What a handball that was from James Hurd. Yep. Well, it was in one stride there, Hutto. Two goals straight today. And is certainly having a stellar season for the Bombers. He leads their marks for the year with 103 and of course leads their goals and has kicked three today and the Bombers have got three on the trot. Kangaroos just being forced to hold up in their tracks here and what they were doing in the first quarter was just moving it on at all costs and obviously the Bombers are trying to slow them down here and interrupt their movement. Moorcroft does that very effectively. Lloyd's behind, he's got the ride, and he's got the mark. Well, he's proving their biggest problem at the moment, the Kangaroos. Hawk without Mick Martin. What the job for what's probably just a little bit beyond him at the moment. Yeah, no doubt about that, Hutch, and uh, that's why play was stopped. Yeah. So here's Lloyd, he's kicked three goals, and he's leading them 
Well, they like it behind the goals. Lloyd's not so sure. The umpire is. Oh. <laughs> That's four. Brett Harvey is standing to argue. Yep. Gary Ayres went into the centre. Gavin X will kick nine that day, I think, for Geelong. Well done. Only a frustrated Geelong supporter would know that. <laughs> Moorcroft to centre wing. Johnson couldn't take it. It has got an unbelievable splash of the difference about it, this game of football. Johnson, who's been the key playmaker, and Lloyd's got it again. Lloyd and Johnson, along with her, are keeping the Bombers in it. And I'll tell you what else is surreal. If Lloyd kicks this, the Bombers will kick five unanswered goals. And Lloyd's oh. kicked it, he's kicked five, and the Bombers have kicked that many on the trot. It's game on here at the MCG. 15 goals to eight. You'd think the team with 15 would be in the box seat. And I guess they are. But gee, who wouldn't think that the Bombers aren't a big chance now? Johnson gets them going out of the middle again. Lalic went to ground, her brilliant tackle from Archer. The pressure on, Lalic trying to get it out. The pressure is really on now. Heard Carousella, he can launch one. He had the time, he used the time, he oh, used it wisely oh. and kicks a goal. Here they come. <laughs> this is just amazing stuff. 15 goals to nine, and we're not even at half time. 9-4 to 15-1. Bombers have slammed on six in a row after the Kangaroos kicked eight in a row. Clearing kick into the middle, Solomon takes the mark. Quick kick off the left, Barnes has pushed forward. Oh, he spills it, but gets a chance to recover. Mercury normally works so well in those situations, as does Hurd. Barnard just bangs it under the boot, and Lloyd's going to get another one. He's going to get another one. <laughs> Six to the best from Matthew Lloyd. <laughs> Seven in a row for the Bombers. 10-4 to 15-1. The Bombers by just 27. Excuse me, the Kangaroos by just 27. The Bombers have kicked the last seven goals of this game. Incredible. Barna bursts through Hamill. It doesn't hit his target, but the Bombers are doing all the attacking. This is fitting of a grand final at the moment. Hard with the carouseller. Isn't he starting to get the football? Hamill over the top towards Heffernan. Steadies him up. Goes inside. All the numbers forward. Here's Bolton. He should kick a goal. He's in space. Lines it up. The Bombers have kicked <laughs> in a row. <laughs> Seventy playing ninety-one. The Kangaroos actually kicked nine in a row at one stage, and the Bombers have come back with the next eight. Absolutely amazing. Harris is in the game, but this man has ripped them apart out of the middle. Deserves a goal. Winds up for another one and slams it through. Jason Johnson. He's a star. Had to go very painfully short. short. And Lloyd, well, I thought he was within distance. He obviously didn't agree because he played on. Barnard spotted someone out of the corner of the eye. Loose checking, that was. And Jacobs is able to take the mark. Had a long time to man up on him, but they just couldn't get there in time. Danny Jacobs. Just kicked the four goals for the year. And that's pretty good. So the Bombers start with a goal in the third. Danny Jacobs, and they just creep ever closer. To the Bombers, I should say. 11 of the last 12 to the Bombers. And they're back in this contest within 13 points. Their closest margin since early in the first term. Ball goes to half forward. They're inspired at the moment. Barnard. Bangs it inside the herd and starts to cut up Archer. Takes a mark. Mark number five. Sun in the eyes of Lloyd, but it doesn't matter. Oh, doesn't matter what's in his eyes. He is on fire at the moment. Matthew Lloyd, he kicked one goal in the first term and five goals in the second term for a total of six today. Six kicks, two hutch.
Thank you, Hawk. Lloyd's kicked the goal. Seven kicks, seven goals. Eight marks, seven kicks, seven goals. It's pretty efficient. The Bombers. Byron Pickett now playing out of the square for the Kangaroos. Jacobs works it back. McCurry, a lot of players around the footy. And he found, finds a man. And that was a good kick for Ramanowskis. Handballs over to Fletcher, who signals that he's going along and goes in that direction. Johnson worked his way to the front. Free kick, I reckon. Play on to the umpire, McCute Mercedes. Great kicks kick. the full forward. And Lloyd's taking the mark. A little bit of confusion there over whether the whistle had been blown or not. It may have been the advantage rule in the end, but the Kangaroos are crying foul. Seven kicks, seven mar eight marks, and seven goals. So he's kicked a goal from every mark. And this for number eight for Matthew Lloyd. He makes no mistake. The Bombers are still coming. What the Kangaroos have managed to do is close the game up a little yep. bit. So it's not such a free spirit, free flowing game. It still is by normal accounts, but not compared to the first half. And that's going to be to their favour. They can just play man on man football and hold on from here. They can win this game, but the Bombers will keep coming, and keep coming they do. Get out of my way, says Jason Johnson. Get the big don't argue and take the goal. Anyway, very soft, I thought. Important one for Mark Johnson. The man who wears the number one Guernsey. Can bring the Bombers within seven. And he has! Just on three-quarter time, the Bombers come again. What is going to be fierce pressure from the Bombers? Lulic has done a good job for them in the middle. He's just started to give them something out of the middle in this quarter. Nice work from Solomon. Gets it in quickly. Alessio back on the ground. The big man's got it. Not paid. Cleaned up by McGrath, and he kicks a goal. What a comeback by Essendon. From 69 points down, they've got back to one. Carousella has had an excellent quarter. Went backwards even further. Barnard conceding ground all the time. He takes it away though, Morkoff. Quick kick, and now they can go. McGrath, release Mark Johnson. He's got it in there quick. Alessio's tall. Hurts oh. great, but Alessio. Free kick? No free kick. It's a mark. I just saw it for a moment, he'd blown the whistle. Hurd. You're right, Hutto, you're right. You're dead right. The free kick was against Blake. He pushed Hurd into the contest. Now you're right here, Hutto. Yep, that was yep. it there. There it is. All he ended up doing was making it easier for Alessio to mark it. Yep. So Hurd to have a shot for goal. And again, the margin is back to one point at the MCG. <laughs> it is not even three-quarter time. And we have seen 39 goals kicked because of the match we've seen. It's been absolutely one out of the box, and it deserves a great last quarter. Barnes against the big man, Burton. The Johnsons have been pretty good, particularly Jason. That time it was Mark. McGrath released the handball. Thump went Barnes, as good as a kick. Young Teague working overtime. Solomon has been excellent as well. Off the left, Lloyd. He's got eight, and now he's going for number nine. Third opponent, Archer. Yeah, Archer's gone back to him now. What a player he is. If it's possible, somewhat underestimated. He's just an absolute champion. And champions kick goals in big matches. And he's kicked nine of the best. And likewise, 51 when Geelong beat St Kilda in round seven, 1989. On both those occasions, They've copped it up, Hutto, sorry, Harvey to pick it. The kick-in wasn't good, a chance for the Kangas. Handball at the back, McKernan tries to hit Simpson with a handball. Could have gone inside oh. and didn't, oh. was dispossessed, and the Bombers are away. It was like Look he was this. dazed there. On the rebound, Barnes floating the hand pass. Mark Johnson, he loves this. He could have gone himself. Instead, he gives it to Ramanowskis. And they had a lot of momentum, but he must have just summed it up and thought, well, I'm within range. And the instructions are to have a shot when you're in range. Just what about that pressure and the tackling there from the Essendon defence on that occasion? Three tackles, 
had the ball turned over from the Kangaroos. I'll go on forward, Pickett was one, McKernan was another, and Adam Simpson was just a third one. Brilliant play by the Bombers. He hasn't missed this year, Adam Ramanowskis. He slips over, he back. but he still kicks the goal. <laughs> that is an incredible shot. Comes handy, doesn't it, sometimes? Came in very handy there. <laughs> Barnes has led his opposite, number 22, to the ball in Burton. Takes a mark, hurries the kick. That was poor, but it bounces well for Johnson, who takes off, says, get out of my way again. He's so determined and so cool, this bloke, and he could answer and kick a goal. He has! <laughs> Jason Johnson, JJ Johnson. <laughs> JJ. And they've all been on the run. For more drama at the MCG, 23-7 against 22-8. Spider and Barnes, Solomon from the side. Every clearance so vital. Barnard, Carousella, Mercury. Been pretty quiet today. Oh, that was Barnes. excellent work. Kept a cool head. And Gary Moorcroft, the man who took the mark a few weeks ago, now has the chance to put Essendon in front. I just reckon Spider Burton's having some problems kicking up with Johnny Barnes. I know Lee Colbert's only had the three touches and had a shocker, but I reckon a move's got to be made. OK, maybe have Spider start in the centre bounce to make the ruck contest, but after that, get someone else on the Johnny Barnes at this stage. So Gary Moorcroft, what a year he's had, and what a oh. kick that is under pressure. Essendon are in front! 69 points down they were. He gets knocked down and kicks it long to the square. They need a mark. Sav couldn't get it. Quick kick went nowhere. <laughs> Shannon Motlock just couldn't get the ball to boot in any sizable fashion. And now Barnard on the rebound. Gives it to Hurd, who gives it into the middle of the ground, looking for the man who's kicked nine. Matty Lloyd, keep it moving. Carousella, dribbly kick. McCurry, oh. brilliant stuff. Corey McGrath is it for Alessio? It doesn't matter. He didn't touch it. It went through for a goal. <laughs> well, that's a massive body blow, that, for the Kangaroos, Hawk. Sav Rocker playing up in the middle of the ground. He's still playing as a forward. They've all pushed up. It's on 50. Alessio tried to knock it centrally. Carousella. Got himself clear, got himself steady. The post is wobbling. The ball's gone on the inside. The bombers are flying again. Blake Carousella kicks the goal. And it looks like the avalanche is coming. For the first real time in the game, the winner looks Essendon. And the Kangaroos have got to try and invent something to get back in the contest that they led by 69 points, but still they come the dogs. Carousella, Moorcroft, Ben so important. He's kicked oh. another one. Can you believe that? So the Kangaroos have to man up. They have to man up. There's still a lot of time. He's taking his time. Now the umpire's got to be smart here and tell him to kick, and he does. So Johnson will kick it to the boundary line, or close to it. Lloyd the target. Heard. Around the line it goes. Moorcroft, let it go. Blake Carousella. It's all over now. The Bombers might just about be home. You wouldn't think they could lose from here. 32 and a half minutes gone in the final term and gets it for an amazing rule from the Bomber faithful. And the siren sounds. Yes, emotion I think will be the word from everyone involved. It's been an amazing day. They started off absolutely brilliantly, the Kangaroos. But the Bombers are such a champion team. They're trying hard. The clock is counting. And the game is over. One of the best ever. One of the very best ever matches played on this magnificent ground over more than 100 years of football. And Kevin Sheedy has brought his team back from where no team has come back before.
69 points they were behind in the second quarter. And the Gallant Kangaroos, without their captain in Wayne Carey, without their premiership stars in Mickey Martin and Anthony Stevens, they got out to a huge lead. 69 points. But somehow the Bombers came back. And how would that man feel, Dennis Pagan? He'd have to be proud, but sad and disappointed.